What's going on, Move the Mouse here, back in City Skylines, the town of Grand Lakes. Let's play Season 8, Episode Number 4. And in the last episode, we built up a, a start of a farm, farming industry area. I came back, I tightened it up a little bit, because I was kind of building in the back of my mind with a, like a New England area farm, um, where the roads are pretty hilly. And uh, when I... When I Backed up and took a look at this. It is so flat. There's no reason that this wouldn't be um, a perfect grid, at least not just on the, the farm property itself. So we can always um, get looser with the roads that connect the areas and then have you know these little gridded off areas of industry. Uh, and considering this is all one farm, I thought that would make sense. I did a couple little things. I dropped in the flour mill. And since we had all the goods that we needed, the, uh, the donut factory. So they're basically, uh, the, the supply chain here is crops, whether it is the fruit trees, the greenhouses, the food, it all makes crops. You then use the crops, some of it, to feed um, the animals. We can store crops or animal products here at the warehouse, right? That, yeah, that's animal products. All these silos are for crops. And then we can take those crops and turn them into flour and then over here if we have enough animal products crops and flour which are the three things that we're really focusing on um, that will allow us to produce goods here out of the bakery sell them into the city or sell them off map and we're actually going to throw the production rate all the way up because i forgot to do that so hopefully that will help make us a little bit more money um, as long as this area keeps functioning well and we can expand it we can keep an eye on the supply chain here right and see what we need more of do we are we constantly running out of something and if we are let's supply more of that in the local area and then we can use that to again sell goods and make more money on map so hopefully we'll see that um, six thousand income change a little bit as they start to crank out goods but uh but that's kind of the farm where it's at right now it is pepperidge farm i hadn't renamed it at the end of the last episode but i decided to um so there we go pepperidge farm doing well three stars and i've built this roundabout out so that we can eventually move the highway traffic into this and then maybe offload traffic into the Pepperidge Farm area. We could have, you know, this could be like a cargo port or something. Maybe we have um, another competing farm or, or something else over here on this side of the river. Plenty of room to expand. But what I thought we could do today, um, since offline, I actually I hit another milestone again because I was just doing the tax trick and we hit 7,000. So that unlocked a, a bunch of stuff for us. After this, the, the updates or the, the unlocks get pretty small. You get a couple things on each one, but not a lot. We've unlocked the bulk of what we're going to use. And we are at max population, or not max population, but the top milestone when we hit 55,000. So that is not that far off, right, at the rate we've been growing. But right now we've got a ton of demand that we've got to meet. What I was thinking we could do in today's episode is a project over here. To get started, we are going to burn this perfectly good farmland to do it. But I think this over here should be kind of our modern downtown. This will be our old town, small residential area. We've got some farming over here on the edge of the map. Where we've got some good land and maybe we could set up a, a little shipping port over here. Farmer's market or something like that. And of course the main island where we started, we'll have to start moving people out to, uh, to make room for our casino nightlife and university build. Uh, one thing that we do really need right now is university. Um, so what I'm thinking is we could start to claim some space over here. Let's paint a quick campus area because we need education in our city. That's something that we're really lacking on right now. So we'll just commit the farmland to also a campus area. And uh, let's see, we've only unlocked the trade school campus so far. So, uh, so let's do that. Now, what does this cost? This costs 30000 So it's not cheap, but it's the start of our uh, our college education here. So now what do we need? Well, we need dormitories, study halls, all this stuff. So it does, it does get expensive, but we can rank our area up pretty quick. So what we'll do is 
Where will it let me get a little path in here? So let's get the paths connected back here. We'll just do, you know, we're not, we're not doing this for design. We're just doing this to make some space to snap some things onto. Because we need education. So we will, we might change up what we're doing in terms of trade school versus uh, um, other possibilities. But let's, let's get what we can in here with the money that we have. And then maybe we'll pull the tra tax trick one more time. I've got to make some residents, uh, some area to move in so that our city can grow. So I can pull that trick. Otherwise, it's going to tank the population. And just like that, we're out of money. We didn't throw in the uh, the book club. We'll uh, we'll figure all that out. We got to get this going just so that we have something in the city for some some education. If we look at the campus area info, we've only got capacity for what five hundred students, students seven hundred students. We need five hundred for the next level. So we have enough capacity to reach the next level. I'm I'm just gonna leave it. Um. Actually, I should do one thing. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't leave it. I should I should get serious about it because how many eligible students? 2,200. So we should have capacity for, for like 2,400 then. 2,500 because we're going to move more people in. They'll be staggered out a little bit. But I guess we need to add more dorms. That's a study hall. How expensive are the dorms? 10,000 bucks a pop. Uh, capacity 300. Wow. So 600 students I could get for 20,000 bucks. Man. I mean, we need the students. So there's some dorms. Doesn't get our capacity anywhere where we need it to, though. Like halfway there. Uh, we need more money. I also need more places to put stuff. I, sh I got to be more careful about putting stuff where it should go. Or at least where it won't be in the way so they have to move it three seconds later. I should really get another dormitory on that side. Another one on this side. So let's hang out until we've made 20,000 bucks. Because this is not the project that I wanted to start it on today. The project that I wanted to start into was uh, the downtown area, but I think out of necessity, I mean, we've got to educate the population so that they can get those office jobs that we're going to build over there. So maybe this is a more sensical first step. But we do need to really answer our residential demand ASAP, and maybe it's time for Old Town. That would be a little easier to get in over here. Uh, but, 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 how do we get... A bunch of people moved in on the cheap in the short term. Um, I'm thinking what we could do is we could build. What do we do? What do we do? We could build an old town over here. We could try and cram some more people on this island. We are going to landscape it at some point. And the services are already built up over here. So let's do that. They might be a little close to that power plant. I bet that uh, wind turbine's pretty noisy. Let's see, noise pollution. Yeah, they're on the edge of it. It's not as bad as living next to a commercial zone. So let's get some people moved in. That will help out a tiny, tiny little bit of our demand. All right, I'm just going to drop a T-intersection in here for now. Later on, we will round out those bends in the highway and probably do more of a, um, a trumpet interchange because I like the way those look a lot better. But since I have those saved on PC and they're not available assets on console, uh, we'll just do that for now because we need, we need to fill uh, some of that zoning in. We've got demand coming and going. We've got water problems. Is this a capacity thing? I don't think it's a budget thing. Uh, electricity is at 85. Water is at 100. And we are running low, I assume. Oh, no. They just don't have water over there. Okay. That's easy. That's an easy fix. 
Here we go. Now I turned off the power plants, the three coal power plants, because I was able to unlock solar updraft tower, which produces a lot more power than those do. So we turn these off and have the budget down. We can increase the budget and then turn these on also before we have to buy um, another plant. Hopefully I will remember that uh, then and not just now. Okay, so let's think about a rather large roundabout over here to feed plenty of traffic into this area. So we'll do the uh, what curve tool. So this is going to be a rather large roundabout, but we kind of need that on console. So you're going to have a ton of problems in comparison to PC. And I, I kind of want to make this look nice. I'm going to brace it off. I could even... Let's see. Let's see if it'll let me do what I want to do. So coming off the highway, two lanes would be sufficient. So let's see if we can freeform this in the way that we want. Probably not, but that's not terrible. And then let's see if we can upgrade these. So we have two lanes becoming two lanes, both going in and out. Change the direction on this one. And why don't we... Let's get our, our on and off ramps, our, our entrances and exits to this done before I change it, before I upgrade anything, because it's going to get all messed up. So, freeform tool... This will come out. That was more expensive than I needed to do. But it was more just to do this. So, freeform tool. Let's assume this is going to be four lane roads coming off of here. It's going to let me do this, though, the way that I want. It's not quite ideal coming off. I'd like to pinch this in the other way, but it's going to be really tough to make that happen. Um, I guess we could try and originate from over here. Technically, that's what we need. Now that there's a node there, it might... No, of course not. Because anytime we hook towards this... Like, I, I want to kind of do that, right? I want... I want to be... I want to be bendy the other way. And the game doesn't recognize that that's an option because anytime you hook into this other side... It's trying to bring it out so far. I don't think you can do quite what I want to do. Yeah, see how it, it like changes the the side the the road's going to let you do what it thinks you should do, not what you want to do. So I'd love to curve that in. I know we're not getting move it, but if any devs are watching, please. Why is that the behavior? Why can't we Why can't we curve that piece in? What am I doing? Uh, what if we just did straight shots of road? I think it looks better. If we just do that. Which works. It's just not quite what I want. Uh, let's come over here and assume the same thing. That we're going to have some four lane streets out this way. Let's delete that last segment. And then hook it in with highway again. Now, the question after is going to be, what is it actually going to let these roads upgrade to? That could be another 
That could be an entirely different problem that we might be running into in a moment. But let's do this. Because we'd like for that to be at least a two-lane highway. Probably should have done that first. Because sometimes we we'll get real finicky about changing directions or letting you upgrade some of these segments. Like that worked out all right. Now what we can do to kind of force the traffic around a little bit also is if we do this in one lane, and if we reverse this the correct way, then what happens there is you get a, a lane on this two-lane highway that goes straight. Ignore the, the left turn there. Or it can get off and go right. And then this straight lane can kind of go either way that it wants. If it if it needs to get on the highway, it'll cut over. But it's a nice way to kind of pinch this and force the AI to kind of recalculate and hopefully, hopefully not get in each other's way. So there we go. We've got a couple four lane roads coming off of our highway over here. Now we can start to expand this grid a bit. We like to minimize intersections on here. So we're going to consider this first 10 part of what we're about to count out. And I'm going to go down 30 units. So I'm going to add another 20 to this before we actually have an intersection. And now from here, these side streets can be much smaller. So if we come down 10, doesn't quite get a little bit of overlap zoning. So I would rather do 12 and have a little space. Because let's see, can we get, can we get a pedestrian path in that one little block? If we can, then I will be happy. Landscaping paths. So where is that? Right there. We can come right up the middle like that with a pedestrian path. And if we wanted to, we could hook them in every so often so that the pedestrians can get in behind the zoning and cut through blocks without having to walk all the way around. And we still have uh, decent zoning there. So this will help encourage some pedestrian traffic, which will be useful because we could bring uh, metro stops in and and then kind of have people offload and uh, and walk around the city a bit so that looks like that'll be pretty efficient for us and it's a pretty flat area so we'll come down another was it 12 units i already forgot do we want the two spaces or the one space we want the one space that's 11 units which it's going to be super super snappy about i hope that's 11 right there it looks it looks like it is so here, I mean, we could get, we can get closer to the highway with these. Now, if we wanted to be really fancy about this and encourage people to take those sidewalks, we could also upgrade this middle segment to something like a grass line street, which removes the parking lane in place of grass strips. But it also, because of the road change, makes it so that there's crosswalks there. So that could be a nice touch. Let's take this uh, down one more block down to the highway. And that will be a nice little start for us. Over here. I'm going to fill in the, uh, the pedestrian pass too. To hopefully encourage people to walk around. We may as well connect the end of these streets for the pedestrians as well, if it'll let me. He was trying to snap that one to the uh, 
to the street itself. You gotta go just outside of it. Uh, let's see. We'll curve this path around, and this will achieve two things for us. One, it'll give us some pedestrian paths to walk around. Two, it will also eat up a couple of those zoning squares that are really close to the highway. And we can kind of fill this in with some trees and hopefully reduce some of the noise complaints. But it's going to be a little tough to ignore altogether. Now, Main Street here, the strip itself, right on the edge, I figured we could do commercial. In this case, the high density type. Now, people generally don't like living right next to commercial, so we could have a little bit of a, a buffer and some trees in this block, maybe. Before we get into high density residential down here. And this this will fill, fill all in right now. We've got a little bit of money. We've got to get power over here. And we've got to get uh, water. And then we're going to start thinking uh, city services over here. Because we don't have any of that yet. So Let's throw it on play though for a minute. We'll have our first couple people start moving in. Because they don't check to see if there's power available first. Which is nice. I'm going to just bring this kind of across the river. And I just ran it around the outside like that so that we wouldn't waste uh, any zoning space. Okay, now we got to get them some water. Before I start making super messy pipes over here, we're going to build everything off of this beautiful grid that we have. So that'll keep things nice and neat for us. So that covers our area pretty good. Come on, you got you got water. Don't you have water? Are we are we low on water? Oh, no, we're not we're not low on water. We haven't connected it to any water. Jeez. What? Why is this space already occupied? Oh, I'm getting too close to that bend in the pipe. All right, now you've got water. We can get rid of this now. Our bracing. And I think it's time to break out the landscaping tool for the first time. Get some trees in there. We could just do the trees. Or we can see what they have for more de uh, decorative varieties here. I like the green tree. It's a nice deep, dark green. Let's do these. This is such a great dark green. We can increase the brush size, right? Man, it's not not so good at spamming trees down here. Come on. Okay, let's see what the map has. Looks like the map has a lot of beech and alder. So since we don't see a lot of pine trees out here, we won't <laughs> we won't go crazy with those. Um All right. I, this is more of a manual process on... See, like, you can do these... Li like, why can I do these so quick in, in little lines like that? But any time you increase the size of the brush, even with the strength up, all the way up, it doesn't... Sure, it certainly doesn't do that. But then you get these crazy fast repeats. And you get these rows, and it just doesn't make any sense. So we're going to make this, like, a very... A very dense brush at this point. Um... Until we can come in here and kind of clean some things up. I just want to give it a little bit of a little bit of noise dampening. But there we go. We got some some houses moving in. Or I should say some apartments. It's all high density stuff. And you can see that our residential demand is uh, is very, very high right now. Do we have wrong button? Wrong button again. Do we have wrong button? We start using that D-pad 
eventually. I just did there when I finally got in there. Um, do we have the taxes? Yes, we do have the taxes up to 12% for everybody. That's good, good, good. Uh, we could, I was going to say, we could borrow some money, but we're doing all right on that front. I guess since we have 120000 in the bank, we should consider a hospital over here. Man, it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna kill that money fast, huh? Um let's let's get our basic services over here. We look at this, we've got perfect perfect space for it. Already tucked away between those pedestrian paths. a uh, little police station. And a little firehouse for now. Just to get us started. Now of course we want everyone to be educated. So where can we do an elementary school? Do an elementary school there. We'll do the high school over here by the highway because they're not going to complain. And we don't need to get anything closer to the highway so I can go right up to the edge of that zoning. But right there. Wow, that is... We might want to at least do sound barriers there. A little... that, is a, that is a safety problem right here. That... Uh... Like you could just careen off into a classroom. So we'll probably uh, let's let's fix that because that is irresponsible. That is irresponsible marrying at its best. Upgrade the roads right here, here, and here. Yeah, that's much safer. Much much safer. Hopefully a little quieter too for the kids. Get some studying done. So that's a, a pretty good start for this spot in the city. I'm happy, and this sets us up with a like a repeatable, a repeatable model that we can use to kind of stamp out here. We're gonna go out to about the tree line, and we are gonna buy this tile um, above here. Do we have tiles unlocked? We don't. So we're gonna buy this tile up here for sure. So what do we have? One, two, three, four. We're gonna buy this as five. And that kind of takes us, you know, it fills in this this clearing nice. We can kind of use, again, the natural barriers. I mentioned this in previous episodes. The natural barriers of the hills and the trees that are already there on map. It's kind of the edge of our city. We don't have to build all the way up to the highway over there. You know, so we'll we'll come up with something, but um, we'll fill in the, the right side, not necessarily the left side. We might leave the left side kind of open. Um, we'll do some kind of... Maybe a shipping port here or over by our farming where we could probably have makes more sense. Do some like standard industrial or other industrial on this side of the river. Have the farming over there, the old town north of that, and then our university. Let's see how that's doing actually before we say goodbye for the day. Where are we at? Campus area info. Uh, oh yeah, we need academic works. Dang. I forgot. I forgot about that. 20,000 on academic staff. Uh, we don't have enough students for the next level either. What's our capacity? Student capacity. Wow, okay. We need to get we need to get more people moved in and we need to get these people convinced to come over there for uh, university. So we've got some money. Metro is going to be one of those things we want to think about next. But maybe what I'll do is I'll keep stamping out this pattern right we can bring this grid down support it off of this four lane road connect it up into this grid and support it off of that so we've got we've got a lot of a lot of stuff to do a lot of room to grow but repeatable patterns for success that we can kind of stamp out and you know if i do a little building offline it's to get to that next step we're actually losing a ton of money thanks to this school right now that's awesome um just ignore that that's fine <laughs> We're in the red right now, but we're trying to get our school. Man, that's super expensive, huh? Maybe we can't afford that right now. Uh -huh. Academic works. Yeah, staff. We'll take our chances. Base chance, 30%. We're at 11. Like, I'd like to make money for the city right now, so we'll give it a 10% increase in chance. Which should still put us into the green budget-wise, I would think. Play three times speed. But we'd like to be making more money than that. Because we've got a lot of growing to do. Let's, uh... Let's see. That should balance out. Maybe you take that hit all at once at the beginning. I don't know. 
I don't know how that works. If you do, let me know. Um, I was going to cut over to cinematic camera, but man, do we need more residential area. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to stay on track here. And this is why I do some stuff offline. I, I like to kind of start these projects. But if I show you all the building, i will be picking up this project forever. And, and then we won't see other things in the city. And I'm, I'm trying to do things a little different this year. So, you know, you don't need to see the same thing episode after episode. Do we bring this over? Not bother? I don't think we need to bother with that. If anything, we could angle a street like that. It might be kind of cool. Just have a weird kind of triangle street right there. And let's hook this up with four lane roads just to continue to support that grid. What are we doing? We did 30. So if we come out to there. Come on, snap where... Sn Thank you. And then for now, let's just bring this over this way. Ooh, can we do that without breaking any pipes? I love it. So we'll stamp out some residential areas. We'll take a look. Our budget's back in the positive. That's good. That is low density. I don't want that. Not over here, at least. Let's move this power now. We'll disconnect all those people for a minute. So that we don't have that problem with the broken zoning there. I'm fine breaking this for now. So that will do. All right, sorry. A little all over the place today, I feel like. But, um, but a good project, nevertheless. Uh, I don't want to do... You know what? No, we can do a residential block over here. That's fine. We don't have the commercial demand right now. We'll have more of a commercial center over here, maybe. Um, so it's totally fine to get some... Some more residents in over here by the highway, but not too, too close. That's too close right there. So we're just going to move them in kind of on one side of the street. But that's a good spot to break. I'm sure I'll have to edit a couple of those... Uh, chunks of the build down because I made a bunch of mistakes did some reloads today um, I don't know uh, at this time if there are things that I will leave in but but I had to redo a couple things to uh, to kind of get it just right or just a little better at least not necessarily just right this is all it's always a fix it later project you can always look to kind of improve what you're building and how you're building upon it and, and things change as businesses move in and demands go up and down So we'll just make it as good as we can for what we need right now. But that's about all for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Monday and has a fantastic rest of your week. I'll have a little video up on Wednesday and the next Let's Play on Friday. Likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord. And there's also a new poll up right now if you didn't see it already. Just kind of wanted to know what kind of DLCs out there um, for the people that follow me that play cities, what you have for DLC, so we can kind of tailor some videos around that. Uh, I've had a couple people mention they want to see some vanilla content. I don't know how exciting that's going to be for everybody because uh, most of you have all, if not some, DLC, um, and a smaller percentage have uh, one or none. So um, I, I just kind of want to get a feel for you know if a vanilla build would be interesting. Um, it is a really basic game at that point, so uh, it's sometimes fun to challenge yourself to see what you can do with it. Uh, one thing I don't like challenging myself with on console is is going without move it. But uh, but all with all that out of the way, um, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you have a, a good day and a good rest of your week. We'll see you on Friday with the next Let's Play. It's something different this Wednesday, but until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off. <laughs>